and welcome to Craig Loves to Crochet. My name is Tonya Craig and today I am not doing a video on how to crochet an item that I have designed but my other passion which is nails. Um, so I love a company called Jamboree Nails and the reason that, that I love it is because they do non-toxic vegan gluten-free Jamboree wraps and gels. So at the beginning of the video you will have seen um, a sequence of photographs of when I first put my Jamboree wraps on, halfway through which is at the seven day point and then today my nail wraps are 15 days old. So here they are. And this video is going to show you how to remove those wraps or the best way to remove the wraps. So I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what you will need to remove the wraps and then I'll show you how to remove them. Okay, toodle pip, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, welcome back. So we don't really need an awful lot to remove our wraps. They're incredibly easy to apply but they're also very easy to remove. So no harsh um, removal agents and no scrubbing and scraping um, to get these wraps off. So the first thing that we need is something called the nail wrap and lacquer remover. So we're just going to be re removing wraps today. This is wonderful. So it you just twist the top to open it. And it's one of those um, sort of push down pump action. So you can push down and you get just the right amount that you need. So following on from that, let me just close it so it doesn't leak. We need our cotton pads, so you can use cotton wool if you want to, or cotton buds. But I, use, I like to use the cotton pads. And um, I use just a normal orange stick because they're cheap and really easy to get hold of. Okay then. So those are the three items that you need. You can use just general oil, like olive oil or something like that, but I've found that this is the best for conditioning my nails and for getting my wraps off and conditioning them. So let's get on with taking our wraps off then, shall we? Okay, so this is the removal take two. I've made myself chuckle because um, I took all of these wraps off this hand um, whilst on pause. Not, not probably the best way to make um, a video tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is to moisten my um, pad with my nail wrap remover. So let's do go and do that first. So it's a lovely pump action as I've said. Just a couple of pumps and then we'll pop that down and turn the lid. Okay, so what I like to do um, here is I like to sort of split my, my pad open. What you can also do is you, if you just get a little bit of um, cotton wool, but this is how, how I do it. So I split my pad open. I take my, I'm gonna actually zoom in a wee bit so you can see. So I'm going to take my orange stick and just break the seal of my wrap. I hope you can see that, okay. So, I just need to break the seal. So it's between the nail and the wrap. So these have been on for a long time now, 16 days now, not the 15, because I have had to spend a day editing my video. Okay, so I've, I've made a nice space there to start working our wrap through. And then what I do is I get my um, cotton pad to start off with and just wrap it around the tip of my orange stick. It doesn't need to be done in any specific way. And I just work that under my wrap. So once I've got a nice sort of separation from that, I can then just go on to use the full the full um, pad and just work it under the wrap and the wrap just really just sort of slips off just like that. So I'll pop it with the other ones I've done. So if you can see, it's a lovely, a really, really healthy nail underneath. So let's do the next ones then. 
So exactly the same way. I mean, I've got quite a bit of growth here, you can see, which is why I'm taking them off because I could have actually have had these on for longer. Um, so sliding under, just wrapping that um, cotton pad around my orange stick and just working that orange stick under the nail. That's it. And then, then using the full pad just to kind of work underneath that nail wrap remover. It's non-acetone by the way, the jamboree. You can hear the squeaky clean. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm just going to carry on doing this until I've got the rest of them off. And after this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to shape your nails. Now, I have to keep my nails really, really short because I'm training to be a reflexologist. Um, so I don't think anybody wants sharp nails digging into their toes whilst I'm doing my work. There you go. So easy, isn't it? If you have any tips or anything, then do leave them down below in the comments just down below. I always answer everybody. I have followers from all over the world, so I'd love to hear your, your comments from all over the world. My children are off school. It's the Easter holidays. I don't know if you can hear that noise. They must be doing some kind of ball play upstairs. They're obviously having a jolly good time. Right, nearly done. My goodness, that one came off well. There we are. So I didn't even need to use that second part, but I normally just go over. Can you hear them squeaky clean? I might as well do these ones. Beautiful. Okay, let me zoom out. So there you have it. All wraps removed. My next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sort of really take care of your nails. So push your invisible cuticle back um, and how to um, shape your nails. And then I'm going to put on some skinny wraps, which I'll tell you a little bit about um, when I do, when I come to do that. But for now, toodle pip, and thank you very much for watching, and I would love to hear back from you. So please do make some comments below. Toodle pip, bye!